Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today on the agenda, and by today I mean actually today, not just this episode, the Starry Night Festival is, will be here. And just like last year, we will be spending the Starry Night Festival with Sherry, but unlike last year, we're married to her this time, so it's going to be a little different. And also, in addition to that, we have Amir's birthday to uh, this episode, and we did not get anything wrapped at the bazaar, and I don't really have much in mind as to what we can get him. Also, our pumpkins are done, as is our first harvest of corn. Nice. Didn't even know about the corn. So we're going to want to stop off at the grinding windmill first, first thing and get these pumpkins turned into seeds. And still just scrap metal. <laughs> Please. There's so much that you can get from ore stones. But no. Just scrap metal all day, every day. And was that a shiny? Yes, it was. Hey, nice. Silver coins, not great to make, but are always appreciated. Taking care of animals must be tough. No? Wow, you must be good. Or arrogant and unskilled. As most arrogant people are. I mean, to be fair, most of the whole animal caretaking duties falls to my pets. And, uh, so... I don't know. That's, that's kind of why it's pretty easy for me. And I mean, we're not going to be able to completely fill out the barn with the first bazaar of the new year. Because obviously there's a limit on the number that you can buy, and we are not buying adult animals ever again. My goodness. Ugh. Getting... Getting those those eggs from the Tau Trio to, to five stars. They're at three and a half. I mean, come on, man. That's just not great. So it's not it's not a great experience. It takes way too long. And so we're just gonna we're gonna focus on buying the the baby chicks and the baby sheep and the calves and then anyway. So yeah, like I said, we're not going to be able to fill out the barn right away that we want for a few weeks yet. Don't you be following me out here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Alright. <laughs> Hello, honey. It's the Starry Night Festival, so I made us a special meal. Let's sit down and enjoy it together. What do you think? I prepared it while thinking about you. Well, let's see. Oh, that's very, that's very sweet. Today was fun, it's late, I should get to bed. Save and go to bed. I, um, I forgot about that. And so, we didn't give Freya a flow, Freya, Freya, we didn't give Freya or Claude their flowers. And we didn't prepare our inventory. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. Well, these cats certainly don't think it's a great one, because they gotta work. Alright. Oh, I thought the radishes would be done today, but apparently not. Oh well. They'll be done tomorrow, I am sure. Lots of red flowers. I don't think Amir is particularly fond of those, though. Hello, Ray. Oh, good morning, Ray. Get up early. Good morning. You look well. So we'll pick something up at the cafe. 
that Amir may or may not like. Now let's see. It says he he likes home cook homemade cooking, right? So I think what we're want, gonna want to do is we're gonna go, want to go for something not too fancy, something with a very homemade feel. And it also says that he doesn't like fancy fine dining. Hey Ray, what are you up to? Taking a break from work? Something like that. All right. Hello. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper. Thanks. <gasps> Forgot to get the eggs. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Never mind. Let's see. Scone or sushi? Um, honestly, Amir would probably prefer scone. Sushi is not exactly, does not exactly have that homemade feel. Mmm, delicious. Let's go ahead and drop this scone off with Amir, see if he likes it. If not, I mean, we can just give him a flower tomorrow. Sorry, I don't like this. Wow, well... Uh, glad we tested that before his birthday, so I guess we'll just give him, like, a red magic flower. We've got plenty of those, so. And he likes flowers well enough. Hey, Rory. It must be nice to be young and full of energy. Hello there, Ray. Are you eating well? Although we might want to go with a toy flower, actually. I mean, he is always dressed in white, and so. Hey, Rory. How are you? Hi, Ray. How are you doing? Oops. I have this cheese that I dropped on the floor. This is very nice. Thank you very much. I dropped on the floor of in the house of a man who can't do the cooking or the cleaning himself. So probably not a very clean floor either. Oh, that's right. We need to stop by the grinding windmill. Grab ourselves some <gasps> gold. Oh my! <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. I don't even remember what number this is. I'm gonna have to go like 20 episodes back in order to check. But um, before anything else, before we go back in, I uh, gonna want to go over to the manufacturing windmill and turn this into something. I don't even remember what we have that we can use this gold for. Let's see. Well, obviously blue necklace. And purple necklace. I think these are the same price, so... Or a green bracelet. I think green bracelet is actually the, the best. Oh, by the way, uh, last episode there were a few editing errors, and I mentioned it in the comments, but I should mention it now. Um, I'm sorry for those... Excuse me. I was in kind of a rush. <gasps> oh, we forgot to feed our animals last night, too. Well, it's not so much that we forgot, it's that we really couldn't, but anyway. Um... Yeah, I was in kind of a rush to get that done uh, for reasons I won't go into, but as you can see, I have corrected the issue with the with the bizarre profits and all that stuff, so... Anyway. Yeah, sorry about that. By the time I noticed those errors, it was way too late to fix them. Then I would have to somehow be able to render and upload a 20 minute video in 30 minutes, which is not actually possible. Not with this computer, not with this internet. And sure enough, radishes are done. And so we'll go ahead and plant ourselves some pumpkins. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and my personal favorite, let me know any thoughts you have down below. All that stuff, it really does help me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently. So do not forget. Let's see these eggs. Still four and a half stars, but that's still better than the Tau Trio, who are still at three and a half. And that, 
That is why we will not be getting any adult silkies, adult jerseys, or adult Suffolks. Because, my goodness, how long have- hold on. Actually, let's go ahead and check. We have had these Tau Trio since spring. So, so we've had them for three months, and they're still at three and a half stars. For the eggs. So that is... That's just not good. Good morning, Ray. Hello, Ray. Oh, good morning, Ray. Get up early. And... How would you like a toy flower for your birthday? Good morning. You look well. A birthday present? Thanks. Probably not that much. Ay, ay, ay. And Amir is one of the ones that we've got very little friendship with. I mean, he didn't show up three until three months into the game, so obviously... We're basically a year behind with him, and unlike Amiko, we haven't been giving him gifts every single day. Hey there! Working hard, Ray? Yes, and let's go ahead and have some curry dumplings together, shall we, Roll? Since you like them so much... Whoops. Whoops. No, I wanna... Mm. Man, whoever uh, whoever's putting these curry dumplings in these snowballs, they sure know they sure know what's what. But yeah, I I think the whole curry dumpling in a snowball that has to be a reference to some sort of Japanese story or a folk story or something like that. But I would not know. Uh, yeah, whose birthday is this Saturday? Angelo's birthday. Oh boy. Um, let's pull out something for him. Mm. I actually know what he likes, but we don't have the recipe. And I don't think it would be, like, out of the question to give it to him, considering the fact that... that we've seen the, uh, <laughs> the Dirk's Arrogance event. But you can tell... That the chickens are gonna be going outside today by the fact that the cats aren't up early because they're super excited that they don't have to work. Hello there, eh? You're free to ask me any questions. Is that coffee? Looks like coffee. Yeah. We'll go ahead and have some cookies with our tea. Thank you. I hope you like it. Delicious. And it just like a friend of mine to hit me from behind. Yes, I'm going to Carolina in my mind. You know, Dork won the popularity poll for for Grand Bazaar characters. It was the first, uh, it was the first popularity poll for characters of a game that they had done, and Dirk won it. He is the male Daisy. He is, he is the Chris Hansen bait for, for women. What kind of... And again, this is Japan, this was a, a Japanese only popularity poll, so... Be expected, after all, Japan thought that Potpourri was a perfectly reasonable marriage candidate. Yeah. I think that's- uh, if I- uh, I don't know when the popularity poll was, but I think it was while Tale of Two Towns was in development, and they decided, okay, we're gonna have a- well, cause you know how Chen and Ganon from Island of Happiness and Sunshine Island show up in this game? Well, I think they had decided that, yeah, we're gonna have Grand Bazaar characters show up in... in Tale of Two Towns, and... you know, so which ones do we want to have show up there? And so they did the popularity poll to see. And, uh, and Dirk won. Although then again, I mean... 
Raul, Diego and Enrique didn't exactly score very high marks and they got in there too, so I don't know. Maybe it was just to see who would... Oh, it might have been like a marriage candidate thing. I mean, at least he's a lot more mature in, in Tale of Two Towns, you know? He is, he is no longer Chris Hansen bait in Tale of Two Towns, from my understanding. It's been a long time since I touched that game and I didn't play very much of it in the first place, so... Well, that's gonna have to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I will see you later. Bye.